What's going on guys? Uh, Jordan here, owner of Business Cotton. I'm just going to do a quick wicking tutorial today uh, for everybody that's been kind of wondering on how to wick it. Uh, there's a couple different methods to do it. Um, Eric Cooper uh, just posted up one that's a great wicking tutorial and it's awesome that way to do it. Uh, I'm going to do mine today the way I've always done it. So this is how it comes, Business Cotton. Uh, and one of the most important things no matter which way you wick it, however you want to wick it, you want to keep with the fibers. And the way we bag it, the fibers go this way. So you want to make sure it's going this way through your coil. If you go this way, you're not going to get the fibers going long ways. It's not going to wick as efficient. So all I do, starting off, if you can see, it's layered. So all I do is I get this layer. Just like that. And I tear off about that size. And then this layer will actually split again, just like that. And you kind of got to be careful because when you start splitting it like this, it gets really thin. Just like that. See how thin that is? And all I do is just keep, keep it a long ways, like I said, and I just put it in the palm of my hand. And I do one twist, just like that. And then what I do is I take the very end and I'll twist it up really tight, just like that. And that's the part that you go through your coil with, like so. I don't know if I can grab a hold of it. Ah, come here. All right, and when you do that, when you when you pull just that part tight, it's gonna be difficult. It's gonna be difficult to get the rest of this through there because it's kind of thick. So what I do is I grab the other side over here, and as I'm pulling, see so if I can do it on camera. I twist it. I might do it the other way. I just give it a twist and just pull it on through. Like so, then you get to a spot that it kind of pulls through easy. And I just work it back and forth a few times. Like so. So this side gets fluffy. And I kind of unroll this back a little bit. Kind of fluff it up. And you do the same thing on the other side. That one didn't roll too good. This piece might be a little too thin, but it's all right. And if you get thin, like you see how this piece got really thin right here in the middle? That's why I leave it a little longer than my coil because I can just pull that off and just use this part. Because after I get through, I'm gonna clip the excess anyway. So just like so. So even though I tore off half of it, it's still enough cotton in there. No, I like these shears. They work the best. Put scissors, anything works. And I just clip it off. Torn left or something like that. This side could be clipped. Like that. Then I take my handy dandy tucking tool, which I usually use a toothpick, but I got a little small flathead. And I just tuck it down the sides. I clip it short so it don't really, when you tuck it, you don't get under the coal. You want to keep your airflow under the coal. And just tuck it in. Kind of form it a little bit. Make it look nice and pretty. Yeah. 
like that. And keep the airflow under the cool. Which on this mod, this Addy, it don't matter because you got the center block. But most that just got the post, you want your airflow going into the coil like that. So now you wake it up. And what I do on this point, I just kind of, I don't soak it right away, which this bottle just kind of soaked it. But I just wet it enough to where I can fire it without it going dry. And I just let it fire for a minute. And that's what that does is it gets the juice down into the channels of the cotton before I fully saturate it. After I do that, I go ahead and fully saturate it. And that's what you get. My battery's dead too, by the way. But that's it, guys. I uh, want to thank you for choosing the business cotton. I appreciate your business. I hope everybody loves it. Uh, we always love to hear feedback, good or bad. Uh, shoot me a message. Shoot me on the business page. If you have any questions, just let me know.